All right, we're picking up with page 123. Anthony Wayne takes command. The United States government next named General Anthony Wayne to lead troops against the Native Americans in the Northwest Territory. Wayne had been a hero in the American Revolution. There he earned a nickname, Mad Anthony, because of his mad or crazy acts of daring in battle. Wayne studied the Native Americans as no commander had done before. His understanding of their ways made the Native Americans fear him. Wayne prepares his army. Wayne took about a year to gather and train an army of more than 3,000 men. The training was hard. Wayne did not want his soldiers to run off when it was time for battle. In 1793, Wayne's army moved north, building forts along the way. Wayne's constant activity caused Little Turtle to say, The Americans are now led by a chief who never sleeps. Wayne's activity also alarmed the British. They still had training posts in the Northwest Territory. To protect these trading posts, the British rebuilt Fort Miami by the Maumee River, near present-day Toledo. The Battle of Fallen Timbers On August 20, 1794, Wayne's troops and a force of Native Americans, commanded by Blue Jacket, met in the battle later known as the Battle of Fallen Timbers. Alright, so look, at here's forces under Anthony Wayne fought with bayonets attached to the, their rifles at the Battle of Fallen Timber. See? These guys were crazy. Okay. The area was covered with timber, or trees, that had blown down in a tornado. When some of the Native American warriors left the cover of the fallen trees to attack, Wayne ordered an attack of his own. Charge the rascals with the bayonet, he shouted. The Indians broke. Moccasins trickled in blood in the sand, and the water was red in the river. The Native Americans retreated to Fort Miami, but the British refused to let them in. The British did not want to risk war with the United States. Without help from the British, the Indians knew they were defeated. <laughs>